Okay, good evening guys, good evening. So welcome to uh, session number 13 for the Stay Home Spartans lockdown sessions. Um, we have got a fun one tonight and hopefully you guys have already seen on the Facebook page that what you'll need is something that you can do dips or, uh, um, sorry, that you can do dips off. Whether that is like a sturdy coffee table or I've got myself a dining chair. Um, you know, you can do it off a sofa, you can do it, you can do it off pretty much anything, anything that elevates you and you can, you can use that's not going to collapse underneath you or not slide out from underneath you can use uh, is, is what we're going to work with. So much like uh, we don't need it yet, but you will need it later on in the session. So if you do need to hit pause and go grab that, that's fine. Um, what we are going to start off with, like we have started off with in the past, guys, is going to be our stability. So what we're going to look at mainly, uh, what we're going to look at mainly is... Um, a little bit of single leg stability and also a little bit of wrist and elbow stability is what we're going to work on um, as well. So let, without further ado, I suppose, let's get going. Let's get going. See, AJ, I told you people are arriving in late on a Monday. That's what happens. So what we're going to start off with, guys, is press up positions. So what I want you guys to do, you're going to come down into a press up position and all you're going to do is work on just changing your hand position from fingers up to fingers out to fingers back. Okay, so just stepping them around. So it's just that Sort of one, one, two, two, three, three, and just working between those those positions. You can have a thousand different positions, or you can just have three main positions. So one minute, we're gonna start off with that in three, two, one, off we go. So fingertips pointing forward, then it's out to the side, and then it's back. And it's just working between those positions. Just arms stay straight, there's no press-ups yet. And all we're looking to do is just that turn, just working on, that wrist stability, just try and make sure you're using your fingertips to grip the floor. And it's just that working forward, just starting to warm up the wrists, warm up the shoulders. And again, it's just shifting that weight from side to side. If you want to make it a little bit easier, bring your feet wider apart, will help with that stability. If you want to make it a bit more challenging, bring your feet right next to each other. That just means that you're a little bit more unstable, so it means you have to work that a little bit harder as you go through it. But yeah, you're working on those different positions. So all I want you to do is just fingertips forward, fingertips out, fingertips back. You could do that one, two, three, or you could do it as a thousand different um, variations. So it goes from forward, just working your way round slowly, bit by bit by bit. Yeah. So what we're looking to do, guys, again, another 10 seconds or so. So what we're going to do at the end of this uh, 10 seconds, we're going to do the same exercise, but what we're going to do this time is bring the knees underneath the hips a bit more, so we're going to be in that bare position. So I'll just turn side on for that one. What we're going to look at, guys, same thing. Ready and change, so knees are just off the floor, they're not touching the floor, and it's just turning the hands from forward to back. Just shifting your weight side to side, just warming up the wrists, by changing the position each time. So again, we're going from fingertips forward to fingertips out to fingertips back. This is all we're looking to. Try and keep knees just off the floor as you go through as you go through it. Okay, so one minute guys, off we go. And it is just that shift, but this time just keeping knees just like that, just dead close to the floor, as close as you comfortably can. Obviously, if you've got any injury issues, which means that you can't do that, that's absolutely fine. Just stick with a press-up variation instead. But again, we're just trying to keep knees close to the floor. With that touch, touch. So my knees aren't touching at any point, and all I'm doing is just turning my hands from forward to back. Let's have a little look, see how people are doing. That's good. The good news is, guys, you get to give your wrists a complete break on the next one. The next one's going to be ankle and knee stability. Again, once we've done before this, uh, this next one. Doesn't mean it's not useful though. Looks good guys. Okay guys, 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. So we're gonna come into some single leg stuff next. So all I want you to do, don't send it flying. It's just balancing on one leg. And all we're going to do is just that single leg deadlift. So we're just gonna try and reach down, touch the floor, touch the floor, touch your shoelaces, stand back up. I want you to go for five reps on the right, five reps on the left. We're gonna go for two minutes. Okay, once you've done five reps, same thing, just switch sides and do the same thing on the opposite side. So it's just trying to stay stable. You'll notice a slight bend 
and my knee, I'm not locked, with my knee fully locked out, I'm actually trying to keep my knee ever so slightly bent through the movement. Now I'm back up, keeping it under control through my hamstrings, through my lower back. We're going for two full minutes, guys, two full minutes. So you're 30 seconds in. 30 seconds in, do five right, five left, five right, five left. Just get in as many rounds as you can through it. And again, just try not to be locked out on that on that standing leg. So make sure that lock that knee isn't fully locked, it's a slight bend and stays slightly bent the whole way through the movement. Because again, if you think about on a, on a rugby pitch, it doesn't matter what code you're playing, whether you're playing contact or touch, doesn't matter. There's very seldom where you want to be landing on a leg that's fully locked out. That's not a good thing. That is not a good thing. So we want to try and build that stability in that bent knee position. We're gonna try and add in a little bit of side to side motion in this one as well. So we're going to single leg um, deadlift. Just keep going for another 30 seconds. We're gonna add in a little bit of side to side motion in it. And what I mean by that guys, okay, you're just gonna take your hands and all I want you to do is just shift your weight from side to side is what we're gonna look at for the next little bit. Still 20 seconds. I'll give you a couple of seconds just to, just to relax and just to recover after we've done this one. And I quickly demo what I mean for the next little bit. And time, okay guys, there's two minutes. So we're gonna be doing the same exercise. This time we're only gonna do, um, we're gonna do a minute and a half but all I want you to do is you're just gonna try and shift your weight from side to side. So you're gonna be doing that single leg. So again, still balanced, still stretching my free foot out behind me, but all I'm gonna try and do is challenge my balance by shifting my shoulders, shifting my hands. Now you can make that, you can make that even more challenging by adding a little bit of weight. So if you have, you know, a water bottle or something nearby, you know, that you can just basically shift from side to side, you'll find that actually makes your balance really, really challenging when you fall swap sides and just keep going, okay? So again, it's just that shift in your weight, shift in your hands from side to side. So it's getting that turn of the shoulders. So it's not just this where your hands are moving. I want you to try and turn through the shoulders as much as you can. Okay, off we go. So a minute and a half. You'll find shifting that weight from side to side will throw you off balance. As soon as you're, you have to touch your foot down, just swap sides. So again, try and make sure that the hands and the shoulders move as well. So imagine you're playing golf, you're actually trying to get that twist through the body, because this is pretty easy to balance with. This isn't. So you try to get the shoulders right round each time. Further you can get those shoulders. Obviously if you're doing this alongside somebody, which we do have a couple of pairs, just make sure that you don't suddenly backhand the person next to you in the face. Unless of course, you know, lockdown's getting to you. Your partner alongside you is getting to you. No, even then, I still even then I still wouldn't recommend that. Good. So, Ian, if you can try and drop that shoulder each time. So every time you reach across, shoulder comes down, shoulder comes down. So it's not it's not just the hands moving across; it's actually shifting that body weight across. So the goal is with this that you actually do fall over because falling over isn't necessarily a bad thing. It just forces your body to react, forces your body to to move. If you were to look at a bare foot while you're balancing. You'll see it's like when you're doing a handstand, you'll see lots of twitches, lots of movement. And the more um, controlled, the more uh, definitive those moves, those, those balance moves get, the better your balance will be on the field. Time. Okay, guys, we're going to go into our first little exercise, our first little exercise. So what we're going to do, we've got three rounds. Okay, so the first round, your target is 50 reps. That's five zero, five zero. What you're gonna do, you're gonna go for press-ups from the toes, as many as you can. As soon as you have to stop, whether that is to stop and shake out, shake out your arms, or whether it's to drop down to the knees to give yourself a rest, that's the end of the press-ups in the first round, and you make up um, up to 50 with, it, with, the, with dips. So it's gonna happen, guys. Let's say, for instance, I did 20 press-ups non-stop, I then have to do 30 dips to make it up to 50. If I do 49 press-ups, I've only got to do one dip. Simple as that, guys. Okay, so we're gonna work through that there. 50 is your target. Three, two, one, off we go. Let's go. So again, no breaks. Oh, hold it on, there we go. So no breaks, just 50 press-ups is what we're aiming for. Obviously, if you manage 50 press-ups without a stop, then you don't have to do any dips. 
If you do have to stop at any stage, so whether it's to shake out your arms, whether it's because your knees touch the floor, doesn't matter what the reason is for stopping. You know, maybe the doorbell rang and you went to go and check it. Doesn't matter, whatever you've got left is dips. Now I've got one dining chair. You guys might have a sofa, you might have two dining chairs, you might have, you know, whatever it takes. And all you're looking to do, just over the edge, dips. You wanna make it more of a challenge? Stretch your feet out in front. Just make sure whatever's behind you isn't gonna skid out, isn't gonna slide across away from you on the sofa or, or slide away across you on the floor to make it up to 50. Once you've done, now this is mostly, this is mostly for the guys on the Zoom, but once we've done, I want you to just go straight into a set of squats. Once I see everybody on the Zoom chat is doing squats, then I'll know that we can move on to the next round. Because the dips, you might need to stop, you might need to take a rest while you're doing the dips. That's fine, they don't have to be unbroken. So as soon as you've done those into squats, when everybody's doing squats, then I'll know we can do round, round number two. Looks good. That's it, just one or two still left to finish. So keep going to those squats, guys. You don't have to go for as many as you can. It's just set a nice steady pace. Just so right down, right back up. It's just keeping blood flowing, keeping moving. If anybody feels like they want to unmute, you know, and tell their teammates to hurry up, Feel free, I'm joking, please don't. Be nice to each other. Be nice to, actually that's a really good point, because actually World Mental Health uh, Awareness Week, so it's a really good time to be nice to each other. Um, although the day I can get all the Spartans being nice to each other will be, will be a cold day in hell, wouldn't it? Okay guys, so what we're gonna look at now, okay, so we've got everybody doing squats. I'm gonna go for 30 seconds, I've already started that timer, so 30 seconds of squats. So guys that are watching on YouTube, Join in for the next 30 seconds as well. We're gonna go into the same thing, the exact same thing. The difference is this time your target is 40. Four zero, four zero, okay? So it's not 50 anymore, it's 40. So the timer drops down, guys, the timer drops down. So three, two, one, off we go. So again, as many press ups as you can. As soon as you have to stop, you can go for whatever variation on the press ups you want. But as soon as you have to stop, as soon as you have to take a break, at whatever point that is, so I've, my knees touch the floor, I wish I'd been counting, but whatever I've done, whatever I've got left, is then dips to make it up to 40 reps, to make it up to 40 reps. This time, when you've complete, excuse me, when you've complete, I want you to go straight into, just as nice, again, nice and easy, instead of reverse lunges, you're stepping, excuse me, backwards into that lunge, just alternate inside. No massive rush. Just focusing on good quality movement. Getting in those reps. Once everybody's finished, we can then move into our third and final round on this one. I suspect some of you can probably guess where this is going. So again, if you made it to 40 press ups, no dips at all. I'd be surprised. If you made it all the way, this looks good across the zoom. Now if you're able to do it, you know, these dips feel fairly easy with your legs out straight. You can make them harder by having something to put your feet up on, or you can make them easier by tucking your feet underneath your body a little bit more. So that's your sort of two options. That's your sort of gold standard. That takes it back to silver. Raising your feet up onto a platform, whether it's another chair or onto the sofa, that's your platinum standard, so to speak. It's good, so we've just got one or two people still to get into the lunges. Again, just focusing on that good quality movement. We're not rushing this one. Once everyone's in. So just alternating lunges, you can go forward, you can go back. Just focus on good quality movement. There we go, everybody's in, 60 seconds of just lunges guys, 60 seconds. So the reps went down, so now the time goes up. So the guys on the YouTube joining in on this as well. So just alternate inside, 60 seconds is what we're looking at. And then we go into our third and final round of this one. Pretty sure you guys can guess what we're going for. 30 reps, again, 
as many of those press ups as you can, and then we're into dips as many uh, to, to make up the difference. Just like we've done so far, 25 seconds left. 25 seconds left, this is good. So, always a good time guys, if you are, you know, um, with it being World Mental Health Awareness Week, it's a good time to check in, you know guys, if anybody is struggling, you know, don't be afraid to reach out. There are resources within the club. There's myself, the friend, you know, like uh, one of the things that I love most about the Spartans is the support that I've been able to, to get when I've needed it. Um, and I'd be passionate about offering that same support so guys, don't be afraid to reach out if you feel you need to. So whether you're watching right now on Zoom, you want to chat after, or maybe you want to uh, you want to message me after I'm watching the YouTube video, feel, please, please do feel free. Okay, guys, so there goes a minute. There goes a minute. We're into our last one. 30 press-ups, or the target is 30. Three, two, one, off we go. So target is 30, off we go. Let's go. So again, we're going to keep it fairly low intensity for your partner exercise. So if you get to 30 press-ups, great. If not, you know, finish it off with your dips, but then your leg exercise is then just gonna be two squats, two lunges. So one right, one left, two squats. One right, one left, that's back to front, but two squats. And you're just gonna work through those for 90 seconds, for 90 seconds. So the reps go down, so the time on the leg exercise goes up. good so again guys on the zoom all look all right but obviously just one just to reiterate again guys that are doing it on uh, on youtube just make sure what you're doing it on is sturdy enough it's not going to slip it's not going to tip um from you being in position uh for whatever reason whatever way you're doing it if you've got a teammate there or you've got a partner you've got um somebody there that can help out they can keep whatever you're done on anchored because for me that chair there that's liable to slip you know, so it's not necessarily what I recommend unless you had somebody there just to hold the back of it for you. That's good. Okay, guys, we've got everyone doing this one, all right? So we've got 90 seconds of it. You're already about 20 seconds in, so you've got about a minute and 10 seconds remaining. Let's keep going. Tom, you don't need those, you don't need those legs for sewing, so come on, let's get going. <laughs> Looking good. So... We're focusing on strength during this one, guys. We're focusing on strength during this one. So we're going to actually change it up. We're going to bring the heart rate into it a little bit more in the next circuit. We've only got two circuits. You're going to do each circuit three times. Okay, you're going to do each circuit three times. Every exercise within that circuit is just 30 seconds long. It's just 30 seconds long. Okay, guys, time. Grab yourselves a drink. Grab yourselves a drink. Grab yourselves a drink. You got a minute. So like I say, we've got five exercises per circuit. You're gonna do that three times. That's 15 sections, all 30 seconds a piece. So each round is gonna last seven and a half minutes, seven and a half minutes. You'll then get a minute to rest. Then you'll start your second, second or seven and a half minute block. Then we're done. That's it, okay? That's all we've got for, that's all we've got for today. So make sure that you give it everything that you have got, guys. Give it everything that you've got. So what we're gonna try and do, dead simple, guys, is just gonna be working our way, upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body, forcing the heart and lungs to work a little bit harder. You might wanna move whatever you've been doing dips on, um, just for, for now, you'll need it in the next circuit, but not this one. What we're gonna look at, guys, okay, just starting off with is gonna be jumping jacks. So just that, hands above the head, down towards the thighs each time. So jumping jacks, your first exercise. If you need to do high knees or spotty dogs, so either high knees, or spotty dogs as that alternative. That's absolutely fine, guys, okay? That's absolutely fine. Um, just you will know what sort of injuries and uh, things you're working around, so to use those instead. I'm gonna go with jumping jacks. 30 seconds of jumping jacks, starting off in three, two, one, let's go. So straight into those jumping jacks, 30 seconds. Now remember, we're gonna try and push the pace during this one, so let's bring it up. Your second exercise is gonna be mountain climbers, guys, okay? So press up position. Both hands on the floor, you'll bring knee to elbow. 
Okay, so I don't want to see bum in the air. You're just doing this movement. It's knee into elbow. As quickly as you can. Change it over in five seconds. So five seconds, we're going into those mountain climbers in three, two, one. Change over, off we go. So we're into those mountain climbers, let's go. So again, try and push that pace. Try not to let that foot rest on the floor at the front. So either keep it completely floating, so it's not actually touching, or just tap. So we're not actually stepping forward, it's just that swapping feet midair. At the end of this one, guys, you're up onto your feet, and all you have to do is just set in as many squats as you can. So it's just that squat, stop. Ready, change over, off we go. So up onto your feet, we've only got 30 seconds, so let's go for it, as many squats as you can. Just set a good pace with it, try not to rest at the top, and then squat again, just try and string them together. So it's that full motion. 10 more seconds, and we're back into our press ups, but this time guys, I want you to go into a shoulder tap each time. Ready, and change. So every press up, you can do these ones from your knees. Press up, tap, press up, tap. Obviously, if you can keep going from the toes, that's fine. Keep going. So it's a press up, tap the opposite shoulder. So try and flow into these as best you can. So as soon as you come up, reach up, tap the opposite shoulder. When you come back down, straight into a press up. <laughs> Last one, get ups. So lying onto your back, back up onto your feet, not using your hands. Ready? Change, let's go. So that's just lie back, no hands on the floor. Lie onto your back, stand back up. Now this will depend on your levels of flexibility. Some of you guys will be able to get right onto your feet. I don't have that level of flexibility, so I have to go that step in between, knee on the floor, bum on the floor, lie back, and do the same thing on the way back up. Okay guys, we're gonna go back into those jumping jacks in two, one, let's go. So into those jumping jacks, let's go. So straight into it. Careful of the light fittings. I'm only laughing because I did it in our very first week as I broke the light. So I had to do half the session in the dark. So just obviously be aware of where you're doing things. So same in, we're already in round number two. So we're back to those mountain climbers in two, one, off we go. Straight into those mountain climbers. Fast as you can. 30 seconds. So this is all about getting the heart rate up. So we're trying to work as much as you can. So really driving in. Again, if you find your t-shirt is sliding up your body, you've probably got your arse too high in the air. So you want to try and bring it down. So it's not this position, this position. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Right. Okay, so you're up onto your feet and you're into those squats next. And change over, off we go. All right, well, you don't want to be in the video? No, off you go. So we're to as many squats as we can, let's go. So again, just setting that good rhythm. Try and get in as many good reps as you can over the next 30 seconds. Just 10 seconds and you're back down into those press ups where you reach up and tap the opposite shoulder. Three, two, one, off we go, let's go. So into those press ups, tap the opposite shoulder. Again, try and flow through them as best you can. So it's that up. So one move leads right into the other. There's no stop, tap, stop, and then press up. It's that flow from one to the other as best you can. If you need to, drop to the knees and keep moving. This one's all about work. It's not necessarily about the heaviest press ups or the best, or the, the most challenging press ups you can do. 30 seconds, then we're into those get ups again. Ready, and change, let's go. So we're into those get ups, down onto your back, back up onto your feet, off we go. Keep them nice and springy. Obviously, if you've dragged out a dining chair or a coffee table, just be careful not to crack the back of your head off the coffee table. 10 seconds, and we're into round three of the first circuit, the final round of the first circuit. Coming up in five, four, Three, two, one, off we go. So we're back to those jumping jacks. Again, careful of the light fittings. 30 seconds of those jumping jacks. Following those, you're into your mountain climbers. So you got your mountain climbers next. Nice. 
10 more seconds guys and we're into those mountain climbers two one let's go so you're done with the jumping jacks this is your last set of mountain climbers let's go last set of mountain climbers on straight into it. it's only 30 seconds of work two and a half minutes is all you've got left of this circuit you'll get a full minute to rest and then we've got our last circuit Good, 10 more seconds of this, 10 more seconds of this, then you're up onto your feet again, and you're back into a set of squats. In, three, two, one, off we go. On your feet, straight into those squats. Full squats, as many reps as you can in 30 seconds. Again, try not to stop for too long at the top. So the up and down note, um, notion of this just makes it that little bit harder. Let's keep moving, it's only 30 seconds of work. Piece of piss, nothing to it. Everybody here can do, can do 30 seconds of work. Five more seconds. And change, off we go guys. We're down into those press ups with the shoulder top again. If you want to add anything to it, if anybody wants something that's a little bit more challenging, try and slap the same hip. So it's up. So instead of tapping the opposite shoulder, you try and tap the hip on the same side instead. It just means it's a slightly longer reach, so you've got to brace your core that little bit harder. It means it's a little bit more of a challenge. Again, try and keep the flow as much as you can, so it should, you shouldn't really be able to tell where one exercise begins or one um, press up begins and the next, one, the next one starts. Ready, and get up, so off we go. So last 30 seconds before we get a rest, down onto your back, back up onto your feet, off we go. Last 30 seconds and we get a rest. You are looking strong though guys, this is what I want to see. Seven and a half minutes of work, much longer than any stint you'll ever have to do in a rugby field. Time, 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 time. So even though, um, even though matches guys will last a bit longer, you will never really have to do anything much longer than two minutes on any sort of a rugby field before somebody knocks it on, before somebody ball goes out of play, you know, before some reason for a break and play will happen. So if you can handle seven and a half minutes of training, you'll be doing all right, you'll be doing all right when it comes to it comes to game time. So um, what we're looking at now, guys, okay, you're going to need your chair back again, or your whatever whatever you were using back again. Our first two exercises in this round, our first two exercises are the same. The only difference is we're going to do right leg for one, left leg for the other. So what we're going to do is glute bridges. So I'll try and show you from the front and from the side. Group bridges, single legs. So you're gonna have one foot up on top, other foot up into the air, and we're just gonna come into hips up. That's that full range, 30 seconds. As soon as you've done 30 seconds, we do the same thing, feet swap sides. And to show you that one from the side, what I want to see is that your heel is up on top. So my heel is there, not there. Okay, so it's up on top there. So again, it's that one foot up in the air, 30 seconds, hip bridges. Those are your first two exercises. Going in, five, four, three, two, one, glute bridges, let's go. So you should really feel this, the hamstring, glutes on one leg. Just get in as many good reps as you can. Ian, if you shift yourself a little bit closer to the chair. Uh, let's see. Well, you can probably do the opposite to shift the chair a little bit further away if you've got the room or shift yourself away from the chair. Yep, that should probably do there. Ready and switch legs, so switch legs. We're going to use our chair the whole way through on this one. So the next exercise, guys, is going to be a box squat jump. So what I want you to do is sit down onto the chair and jump up into the air as high as you can. Let's go in three, two, one. So you're sitting onto the chair, explode up. Sit down, explode up each time. So it's that sit and explode. So it's not just bum touching, it's actually physically full sit down, drive up each time. So if you want to take out that impact of it, just up and straight back down into the chair. Up, just try and 
pop up out of it as much as you can. So if you're doing this in an apartment, and you might not want to jump, you might want to take that out of it, but you can just go speed up and down, or it's explode up and back down. Next one guys, back into your dips again, 30 seconds of dips, in two, one, let's go. So we're into those dips. Trying to lower down, press back up. That's good. Following the, uh, following your dips, you knew it had to be coming at some stage, is 30 seconds of chest to floor burpees. So again, make sure you're not gonna jump into your chair or against your chair, chest onto the floor, and explode up into the air each time. Ready, change, let's go. So chest to floor, hands down, feet out, chest onto the floor, back up. If you need to take an impact out of this, you can just do hands down, step back, press up, step in, stand up. So it's a lower impact, but you're still moving your body up and down through space. Five seconds more. We're gonna go back to those glute bridges. Ready, change, let's go. So you're back onto your back again. Glute bridges, 30 seconds per leg. So quick changeover, so remember 30 seconds is not a long period of time. Get going right away. Remember, it doesn't really matter which leg you start with, as long as you swap after 30 seconds. So it doesn't matter if you started with the right leg last time. Don't worry if you're not, if you're starting on the left leg this time. I'm gonna swap over in five, four, three, two, one, switch legs. So again, that glute bridge, good. Think about getting the hips as high as you can, so at the peak of the movement, what you'd be hoping for is the shoulders, the back of your head, and your heel is the only things touching um, anything but air. Everything else is pushed up into the air. 10 more seconds, guys, 10 more seconds, then you're into that box squat jump. In three, two, one, off we go. So it's that sit down, explode up. If you've got quite a high seat like I have, you should be able to get loads of reps in. So I'm not, that's not even a full squat for me, so it's that full, I can get in loads of reps on that one. If you've got quite a low seat, you're not gonna get as many reps in. If you've got a really high seat, you should get loads of reps in. It, it all depends on what equipment you've got. You know, it all depends on what you're working with. If you've got a low armchair, it's gonna be harder for you to get up and down out of that squat, more challenging. You're going into your dips again in three, two, one, off we go, so we're straight into those dips. So again, lower down, press back up. 30 seconds. Looks good for the guys on the Zoom. And again, your feet out straight will make it more challenging. Bringing your feet closer to your hips will make it that little bit easier. 30 seconds of work. We're back into your chest to floor burpees for the penultimate time. Remember when we swap over, we'll be coming up to the last round of everything. Ready? And chest to floor burpees. Let's go. So again, it's that chest down, up into the air. Chest down, up into the air. Remember, seven and a half minutes. You're approaching five minutes. If you've only got two and a half minutes remaining after this, two and a half minutes remaining after this. Yep, the, taking the impact out is absolutely valid as long as you're working as hard as you can. You step down, you step back, you do your press up, you come back up, you step in, you stand up. Time, we're back into those glute bridges last time. Last sets of glute bridges. One set right, one set left. So again, heel up on top. One leg in the air, and that's that bridge as high as you can. So try and press right up. So the only thing that's touching is my heel, my shoulders, and the back of my head, and then back down. I'm gonna change over to the other side in three, two, one. Let's change over. Good. So again, really feeling the hamstrings, feeling the glutes, trying to get that squeeze through the back of the leg, through the bum as much as you can. So I've talked about this already. Non-contact injuries is where um, most sports are gonna come. What's gonna to happen to them? You're gonna go into those box squat jumps in two, one, and change off we go. So we're back onto the chair, sit down, explode up, sit down, explode up each time. If you want to take that impact out, it's just that quick stand up and back down. So yeah, so contact, non-contact, sorry, 
injuries are where most sports, every almost every field sport, anything that involves you sprinting, is going to uh, is people are going to be at risk. So that's where we want to try and build up that strength as much as we can. There's going to be deconditioned to that side of things. You're going back into those dips in two, one change. Let's go. So we're straight into those dips now. So bum um, hands either on the edge of the seat, the arms of the armchair, the edge of the coffee table, whatever you're using. Straight into those dips. So yeah, so if you guys are doing any running um, outside of classes or outside of these sessions, um, especially now that we're allowed to ex exercise outdoors more than once, it is well worth doing a thorough warm up and throwing in a few sprints. Okay, guys, last exercise chest floor burpees. Two, one, change. Let's go. So, chest floor burpees, last round, last 30 seconds. So, yeah, like I say, well worth throwing in a few sprints here and there just so that your body is used to that sprint in motion. Because if you were to look at the, uh, I don't know whether we have any football fans, um, the Bundesliga restarted up. They had about a month to get their professional players ready. And they had, there is uh, six non-contact injuries in out of eight games altogether, guys. Okay, so that's professional players. Can you imagine what's going to happen in sort of amateur leagues and things like that? So we have to be careful of those kinds of things. And time. Time, 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 time. Okay, guys, job done, job done. So just hang on just a sec. So for guys following on YouTube, uh, really well done today. Um, remember, you can follow me, uh, Neil Gallagher underscore coach on Instagram, NGPT at Permit Performance on Facebook. Uh, if you have any feedback, you know, get, uh, get to me through those channels or contact your team captain. They'll be able to get the feedback to me and I can just try and put that into future sessions. But other than that, guys, really, really well done. I will see you guys for session number 14 on Wednesday. Great job tonight.